My granny's that, and I believe that's our ring. I right, dog is long, I believe you're right. Now, see. Hello, jot him down, store. This is Lovin Abner. See what's going on down in Pine Ridge. Well, since Lum uncovered the evidence that won the lawsuit which Squire Skimp brought against them, he has decided to open his own law office. In fact, he already has a client. Yesterday, a horse broke into Mrs. Luther Phillips' yard, and attorney Edward strongly advised her to bring suit for damages against the owner, only to learn later that it was his own horse. As we look in on the little community today, we find Lum instructing Abner how to nail up a new sign in front of the Jotham Down store. That's it, Abner. Put, put one more nail in it. I want that sign up good and solid, because it's going to be there a long time. Well, I done put a thousand or a hundred nails in it already, Lum. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and put another one in it. Attorneys, that looks good. Edwards, Edwards, and Edwards. Attorneys in law. <laughs> Offices on the ground floor. Ground floor? Huh. Well, that's a true thing. Well, we ain't got but one floor here, Long. If your law office is on some other floor, well, you'd have to set up on the roof there. Well, if my law practice gets big enough, I might build a second floor up there. I don't know. Oh, me. Might wind up with a skyscraper. Huh. Yeah, could stay in here in that bar all day, but come on, let's go on inside. We'll freeze out here. Yeah, it is sort of nippy. I still don't think we ought to put that sign up out there, though. Well, go ahead. Get out of my way. Oh, all right. Excuse me. Why, what's the matter with that sign? Huh? It's hand-painted and looks right good, I think. Yeah, but what I mean is, Lum, you put up a sign there, and, and you ain't actual no lawyer. You I ain't. ain't. No, sir, you never taken it up in college or nothing like that. I don't need to, not with a legal mind like I got. I just come by it natural. Well, and another thing, Lum, you ain't gonna have time for it. We got to run the store and our picture show both, don't forget that. Well, we just run the picture show at night. You can handle most of the store work in the daytime. It, it'll work out all right. I can handle it. I sure. Mm, Doggy, I got my doubts about it. No, you ought to give up this lawyer idea right now, Lum. Well, I can't now. I've already got a customer. Or a clientele, I believe you call it. And I've been looking up some law statuettes on her case. You mean Luther Phillips, former? Yeah, and that's a hard case, too. Well, right, Doggy, if you want my old opinion, that ain't much of a case for you to be handling. Yeah, you went and advised her to bring suit again the owner of a horse that broke into her yard yesterday, and, and you found out it was your own horse. Well, that's what's so hard about it. Huh? What I'm trying to do now is study up some way to talk her out of bringing suit. Well, you better. I spent 15 minutes yesterday afternoon talking her into it, and now i got to talk her back out of it some way. Well, has she found out yet that it was your horse? No, and she ain't going to, neither, if I can help it. You, she better not. I've been aiming to get shut of that horse for a long time. I wish now I'd have done it. Yeah. Because there ain't no use to me. Just have to keep buying feed for him. Well, why don't you just tell her that it's your horse, Lom, and you can't bring suit again yourself? She'll understand that, surely. Trouble is, though, she's liable to turn the case over to some other lawyer. Oh. See, I convinced her yesterday she had an awful good case there. Yeah, I know that. I know she's aiming on getting a lot of money out of this. When I went over there after the horse yesterday, why... Well, she said she was glad it broke in there. Said Mr. Edwards was going to collect a lot more damages than that stuff was worth. Yeah, I done too good a job there, I think. That's my trouble. Oversold her. I believe he did. Yeah, I ought to have found out whose horse it was before I suggested bringing suit. Well, she said she never would have thought of lawsuit if you hadn't brung it up. Yeah. What all did I tell her she could lawsuit him for? Well, Lomi, I don't recollect all you did say, Lom. You named up a bunch of stuff for her. Violating the stock law and salting the batteries because a horse kicked at her and uh, Alice somebody and... Uh, Alice somebody? Yeah. Oh, I know. Uh, Alice Forethought, whoever she is. Malice? Huh? Not Alice. Malice of Forethought. Well, whatever her name is. Man, you named off a lot of other charges. Property damage. I don't know what all you did say. 
did I sure enough say all them things. You sure did. I sat right here and listened to you. Hey, I, I'm too good a lawyer, you know. Too good? Yeah. Yeah. I study up too many charges to lawsuit a man on. I can see that right now. Oh. You take the average lawyer, he wouldn't have thought of nothing except maybe violating a stock law. No. Here, yeah, I got enough charges to might and I send myself to the penitentiary for the rest of my life. <coughs> Less than I can talk her out of, of course. Well, why don't you swap the horse off before she finds out who it belongs to or give it to Cedric one? Well, then I'd have to send Cedric to the penitentiary. I'd hate to do that. Yeah, that's right. He'd be the owner then. I never thought about that. I believe I'll just call her up and tell her I looked up the law and I advise her not to bring suit. Not to bring it, huh? Yeah. Tell her she ain't got no grounds for a case at all. She ought to take a lawyer's advice, or not she? Well, I reckon so. I don't know. Especially so long as I'm such a good lawyer. Well, it won't hurt not to try it, anyway. Yeah, I'll talk out of it. What's her ring, you know? I believe it's uh, three shorts. I ain't for sure. I believe that's it. Yeah, three shorts. Right. That sounds like it. Three shorts. It's a good thing that Luther never got home before I take my away from her. He'd have known it was yours just sure as a world. Yeah, I'd have been a goner if he'd have... Uh, hello, Miss Phillips. Uh, this is your lawyer, L. Eddard. No, Mom, I ain't started lawsuiting yet. The uh, fact is, I've just been looking up the statuettes on your case and... Uh, statuettes. The law. Law, you're in criminal. Yes, Mom. And I, I can't see where you can sue a man for something his horse done. And, of course, it wouldn't do no good to sue the horse. Oh, no. Oh, you see, if it had been uh, me that broke... I mean, uh, the owner of the horse that had broke in and damaged your yard, why, well, uh, we'd have him. Have you... You sure it was the owner that done it, ain't you? Oh, of course. I never let him. Well, in that case, uh, the advice of your counsel is to draft the charges. I don't believe it. I'll put a hold on something. Well, yeah, yeah. I, I know that's what I said yesterday, but since then, I've looked over the law pretty careful, and... Mom? Well, now, wait. You can't do that. Well, no, I can't keep you from it, but... Hello? Hello? Huh. Now I got myself into it, sure enough. What's the matter? There's the stubbornness one woman I ever seen in my life. Oh. Now Luther puts up with her more than I can see. Well, what'd she say? Why, she's going to hire some other lawyer to handle a case for her. Oh, my goodness, you are into it now, sure enough, Long. Yeah, we got to head her off before she finds out whose horse that was. We have. Well, you've got to help me get out of this. I thing. ain't into this. I tell now, you Mom. what, you, you call her up and say that you know who the horse belongs to, and you don't think she ought to bring suit. Tell her I know who the horse belongs to. Yeah, but don't tell her who it is, for her. Well, what if she asked me? Well, just make out like you don't hear her. Now, Mom, I don't want to get neck. mixed up in this at all. Just leave me out. You of ain't going to get mixed up in it. All you got to do is just tell her you know the owner of the horse and tell her what a fine man he is. Upright and honest in all his dealings. Does right by his feller man. All I thought time. the horse belonged to you. It does. That's who I'm talking about. Oh. Oh, you, you want me to tell her all that so that it'll throw off the track to where she can't guess who it is? Huh? No, just tell her that. And hurry up before she gets hold of another lawyer. Here, I'll, I'll ring her for you. No, oh, Three please. short. Do you tell her something in that movie? Here, get in. here, take the receipt. All right, yeah. Hello, Miss Phillips. Hey, Chief, there he is. Oh. My goodness, this has learned me a lesson. If all lawyers had the charges brung against themselves that they try to get their clients to bring Again, somebody else. I agree. It put a stop to a lot of lawsuits. Uh, uh, uh. Hello, uh, Miss Phillips. Uh, this is Abner Peabody. Yes, Mom. And uh, uh, just a minute. What am I supposed to say now, Mom? Tell her about this man that owns the horse. What a fine man he is, Mom. Oh, uh, hello, Miss Phillips. Uh, say, I know that fella that broke into your yard. Or, I mean, I know the fella that owns a horse that broke in there. Yes, Mom. And he's a fine man, upright and honest and all that stuff. That's a time. Poor dog. Mom? Well, no, I don't reckon that's going to help the yard none, but I just thought... Uh, let's see now. Uh, to tell her I'm married and got a big family dependent on me, and if she sues me, my poor little children have to go hungry and keep out uh, in the snow and all that. Miss Phillips, Lom said to tell you he's married now and got a big family of children. Deep don't down. tell her it's me. Don't don't tell her I'm married. Uh, wait a minute. Lom changed his mind. Says he ain't married oh, for now. For goodness sakes, Abner. Here, give me that receiver. I told her just what you Hello, said. Miss Phillips. This is your lawyer again. Huh. Mom? Oh, I don't know what he's talking about, neither. I don't either. I think he's out of his head. 
he has spells, you know. I don't know, Fitzgerald. Yes, ma'am, might be. Well, see, Miss Phillips, I, I just had a talk with the man that owns the horse, and he... Ma? Don't have bad ones. Well, this man would rather keep his name out of it. Uh, yeah, well, I talked to him, and I believe I've scared him into settling this case out of court. Must have been talking to his face. Yes, ma'am. He said, I'm the one that has failed. Well, it weren't easy, but I finally talked him into paying for what damage his horse done. He was two jumps ahead of the straight. Why, $3. Uh, oh, I never had no idea the horse done that much damage. Man, well, I, I believe I can get him to pay $10, then, if you want to settle for that. Man, what's the matter with you? Well, good. Good for you. I, I made you much. I mean, I'll, I'll send you over the money this afternoon. All right, Miss Phillips. Not at all, not at all. Goodbye. <laughs> How's that for using psychology? You mean that you're going to give her $10 just for what little batch of stuff that horse runs? Well, it ain't going to cost me nothing. Huh? As soon as I get her to sign a release, I'm going to send her a bill for $10 for handling the case for her. And then I'm retiring myself from the law business. <laughs>